Tony McGee, Lager News Brewing Company, and cheers to Brew Talk TV. This episode of Brew Talk is brought to you by California Craft Beer Association Summit Beer Festival 2016, happening September 10th from 3 to 7 p.m. outside on Capitol Mall. Unlimited tastings of 400 plus beers brewed by 150 plus California craft breweries. Use BrewTalk TV 10 code and get $10 off the beer festival. I'm Nicholas Giovanni here with BrewTalk TV, and I'm with Tony, the founder of Lagunitas. How are you doing, sir? Hey, man. All right, what's up, man? Thanks for coming on today, man. Yeah, I very much appreciate it. Right. Um, we're at like the summit. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. Uh, it's so cool to be here. It's been pretty awesome, right? So yes. far, so so yeah. good, right? Yeah, vibrant. Right, vibrant. Just I love like it. Just like the world outside of beer. Just you know? like the world outside of beer. I love it. In your own words, you know, there's other than there's 600 plus breweries in California. Yeah. What makes California such a craft beer destination? I think we just look good doing it. <laughs> look good doing it, man. That's, right. <laughs> That's such a rock star. I mean, it's the, it's, it's, the, it's the weather, it's the landscape, it's the people. It's uh, I mean, the beers are wonderful, but I think, they are, I think yeah. we're the ones that make it. There you go, the people. It's all about the That's people, right. right? I love that. That's a great answer. I haven't heard that one yet. Um, so with Lagunitas, back in the day when you're like, hey, I'm going to brew some beer, we're going to make this huge company. Did you, did you truly envision where it is right now? No. no. I didn't envision the industry being this big. Right. I mean, I mean, didn't envision this many consumers loving beer the way they do, and it's not. Nothing, it's crazy. Never right? It's pretty it. amazing, right? Yeah. And I mean, it's like a wild. It is, man. I, I, it's like I, I, I think a craft beer like a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> like a bowl. Like craft beer like a bowl. Has caught on. <laughs> it has caught on. And I mean, it's it's catching on to Europe, which is crazy. That's I mean, cool. yeah. that's some amazing stuff over there in Europe now. Yeah, I mean, they're they're enjoying West Coast California beers too. Uh, our, How cool uh, is that? One, one big hop company we work with, uh, uh, Yakima Chief. Uh, they, yeah. A couple years ago, they told me they shipped a half a million pounds of Simcoe to the uh, EU, and they expected it to double to a million pounds in the subsequent year. Are you kidding? And, you know. Simcoe is like an AR-47. You only or AR-15. You only buy it for one reason. You right, know, right, absolutely. You know, make I mean, double IPAs. Make double IPAs. I think there's, I think there's almost 500 craft breweries in the UK. Now. Right. I mean, that's crazy. You know, it's kind of like you said. It's like a wildfire. It's just it kind of catching. The printed image. Local craft brew printing. For all your custom glassware and plasticware, visit theprintedimagechico.com. Where do you foresee it going with this wildfire? Like what? What? Do you, like if you could look in like a, you know. A crazy eight ball, and it's gonna tell the future with craft beer. What, what do you think? I mean, what? Yeah, I don't know if it'll be. I don't like, know if it'll be double IPAs, but I think the craft breweries, who are the brewers of today, yeah, will be 60% of the market inside of 30 years. Gee, I mean, really? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean it, that, and it might okay. be a session IPA instead right, of right, right. so instead of drinking Bud Light, you know, you might be having a four and a half percent session right. IPA. Right, 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 right. The, the hey. genie's out of the bottle. Now. The genie's out of the bottle. That one. And I mean, and on that note, though, with a session IPA versus like your guys' signature IPA, the hoppiness of what you guys did. At Lagunitas. Uh, give me insights of that. Like, when you first brewed that IPA, what were, were you like? We're gonna hop this out. This is what we're gonna give. Like flavor profile. I don't. Give me some insight. Cause yeah. I would love to hear. Well, we were doing a pale ale, and by that time we were we had already. This is 1990, 93, 94. We had already moved the hopping back from the first edition deep into the second edition. Okay. And that's how you start producing those resiny hop flavors, and, yeah, yeah. and then even later than the dry hopping, and then for, for our. our Two year anniversary beer, we, we made the, the IPA. And I just took the pale ale recipe that we had been working and I, I took all of the ingredients up 30% in the same batch size. Okay. And, yeah. and I tasted that beer and came, I mean, tasted out of the fermenter and I can remember tasting it like it was yesterday. It was like, we're angels singing. The <laughs> <laughs> ceiling, like, oh! ceiling opened up, you know, doves flew out of my ass. And it was, that's a pretty epic, uh, pretty, pretty vivid picture there. <laughs> it, was <like> that. <laughs> it was like that. I mean, you know when you got a good thing, right? You, you know when you got a good thing. I mean, let's just be yeah. real. I mean, you brew beers long enough to like, you try something, you go, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I always picture like, like Dylan in the recording studio singing, you know, like a Rolling Stone. Yeah. And I'm sure it's coming out of his mouth. He's going, this is this, this is good. This is it. <laughs> it's, 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 I think it surprises the maker as much as it does anybody. It else, does. You know? It does. Like it, you actually were inspired by greatness to be able to do this. So oh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. cool. It's pretty cool. Um, so now with everything that's been going on with Bogadies and stuff, what's in the picture for you? Or what, what do you got? More, yeah. Moving forward, what, what more, do you got going on? More of the same on a, on, on a world stage. On a world you stage, know, right? I mean, you know, the, we're, we're in 50 states in the United States, and the first country we're really going to develop a relationship with. Uh, we're celebrating in the UK and Sweden right now. Uh, but uh, Mexico. Mexico? Mexico. Really? We'll be beginning that in the next California few months. California beer, don't they? 
they already, you know, they're already drinking it like crazy in LA. Yeah, Mexican yeah, nationals yeah, are yeah. living there and there they're you go. sending it back home to family. So it's already happening. That's pretty you know? cool. That's pretty cool. API Brewters. So many beers, so little time. Book a custom brewter or hop on one of the beer shuttles today. For all the information, go to apibrewters.com. Bottomless bottle. So if a genie pops out of a bottle and says, hey, this is the only beer that you can drink the rest of your life, what would it be? Can't be yours. Nope. The, what would it be? It'd be the first American IPA. First American Anchor, IPA. Anchor Liberty. There you go. Right, Today I right out of the guy's mouth, guys. Anchor Cheers. Liberty. There forever. you go, right there, man. That's Fire awesome. <laughs> Blue Talk beer moment. Huh? Do you remember your first beer? And if so, give me a story. Oh, I do, yeah. It was old style. Old style. Old style. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, that's right. And that's all that I remember. <laughs> I think two beers into it at, uh, at, just at 15 kinda, years at old. At 15 years old, right? Years okay. So, well, yeah. well, Tony, thank you for giving me your time. Sure, man. Dude, cheers. Awesome, man. Yeah, brother. I love it, man. Tony McGee, Lagunitas Brewing Company. Love California beer. Stakes are high in the valleys alone. She's a long shot of pain, it goes. Take a chance, you may never know. You may strike out, you may. On the next episode of Brew Talk, join me on this Brew Talk adventure, brewing curiosity as we harvested whole cone hops in Shingle Springs, California with New Helvetia Brewing. Hops, hops, and more hops. We joined founder Dave Gold in this historic building, sharing some laughs and having some brew talk fun in this labor intensive day. Brewing these fresh hops with Brewmaster Brian to wet hop their award winning 916 Pale Ale. With a full wall of big beer awards, you take a sip and easily understand why. With their inspiration from Buffalo Beer Company, we became mad scientists for the day brewing a unique way, staying true to the ancient heritage of brewing, using New Helvetia's own individual flair. You do not want to miss this episode. So make sure to tune in with a pint for the next episode of Blue Talk. Until then, cheers. <laughs>